guys welcome back to my channel i hope you liked my new intro my friend made it for me i really love it so i'm gonna be using it for a while hope you guys enjoyed it I'm trying to make the channel more like i know what i'm doing even though i don't and i'm just making these videos to help other parents and other people in the hospital but i still want to make it fun and entertaining for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed that so after three years of being a hospital mom and three different admissions that were at the very least two weeks long for myself, um, I think I have a little bit of experience to speak upon, you know, what to keep you entertained during the hospital stay. So I definitely know that this is important with everything going on. Coronavirus is going around right now. A lot of people have been hospitalized and don't know what to do with themselves when they're in the hospital. Um, this is more towards being in the hospital rather than being a visitor because during the coronavirus, you're really not supposed to be in the hospital. I mean, in Jace's case, he doesn't have the coronavirus, so I can be here, but you're not really supposed to have visitors when you have the coronavirus. So I am going to do a video where I talk about things that if you feel like you're getting sick and you need to go to the hospital or you can ask the hospital for, these are things you can ask them for or you can bring with you before you go to the hospital if you have a feeling you're going to get admitted. So, first things first, I would bring pictures of things and people that make you happy because a lot of the time with, I think Jace is waking up, a lot of the time with hospital stays, you're there for more than a week, especially with the coronavirus, people are being there for weeks at a time. So it's definitely important to bring things that bring you pleasure and happiness and joy because you're not gonna be able, besides FaceTiming, you're not really gonna be able to see your friends and family. So bring things that remind you of home. I would start a journal. It's really helpful to start a journal when you're in the hospital because you can remember the day. It, it brings you kind of back to reality to remember what day it is. So you could chart that in your journal um it makes you feel more like you have someone to talk to even though you have no one really there with you at the, by the third fourth day of recording be excited to write in your journal and look back on this experience and be excited to remember what you went through um bring a phone bring an ipad I, I always bring two devices, the device I'm recording on and then my phone, because it's just easier for me to have two devices, especially with Jace, I give him one and he just relaxes and watches his TV, his YouTube, the kids and stuff. But also if Jace is asleep, I can record videos, I can edit, I can do other things like that. So I would bring a headset so you can listen to whatever you want to and you don't have to worry about people in the other rooms hearing you or whatever whatever the case is i would bring something that gives you comfort from home if possible now with the coronavirus i'm not suggesting this but if you're in the hospital for a totally different reason i totally suggest this a blanket a pillow um a book, anything, anything at all that excites you or reminds you of home, I would, I would bring something small that you could take with you. Remember all these things, if you're packing them with you, you want to make it as light as possible because you don't want to be walking in there with like 20 bags. It's not a vacation, but you do need the necessities for sure. Um, go for a walk. I know this sounds crazy. During the coronavirus, don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. But if you're in some hospitals, like Jason's hospital here, he, they let us go for walks as long as we're wearing a mask and gloves. So I would definitely go for a walk and I would go as far as they let you go. Like Jace can only go on the floor he's on. Here at the hospital, that's pretty big because he can leave the unit. He just has to stay on the floor. But... If they only let you walk your unit, walk your unit. If they let you walk your floor, walk your floor. If they let you walk the whole hospital, walk the whole hospital. I mean, get out of the room, feel human, walk it out. Um, new music. 
try new music and I and but new music is definitely something I liked to do I would listen to genres I don't usually listen to and see if maybe there's something in that genre that I liked I mean it's it's worth a shot you could you could end up finding something you really love uh play cards solitaire anything like that it's it's fun i mean it passes the time that's for sure audiobooks are great if you don't want to do an audiobook and you're like me you don't want to hear somebody else read to you you'd rather read yourself bring a book or read a book on your phone or online tons of free books and stuff online so that's amazing uh, movies, watch movies you never had the chance to watch or watch um, TV shows you normally don't get to watch at home because you're so busy. You can, during your free time here, when you have it, you can watch those things. Crossword puzzles. I love crossword puzzles. I really do. Is that weird? It passes the time, it really does. But another thing that I do if I don't want to do a crossword puzzle is find the difference. So I do like, you know, the pit, when you compare the pictures, those are always fun too. And those take up a lot of time. So I, I really enjoy those. Um, coloring, drawing, those are all things you could do. You don't even need like a coloring book or anything. You could just ask for like paper and draw something. It's just be creative and this is your time to really be creative if you have the energy to do it i would definitely be creative it's it's you never know what you're good at until you try and try wholeheartedly not just try but try wholeheartedly you really work on your creativity i'm sure you can find something you're really good at um some people like to knit and stuff like that or hand sew I don't know if you can hand sew in the hospital. I think you can. But I know you can knit. You can knit in the hospital if you like knitting. I, know I like knitting. So um, something I like to bring with me. Of course, like I said, during the coronavirus, you're not wanting to bring things you're going to take home with you necessarily besides your phone and like things you can disinfect. But if you're not in the hospital for the coronavirus, this is a really good idea. Bring something you like to creatively do. Um, this is going to sound crazy and you guys are going to think I'm crazy but me and Jace do it all the time it's a real thing I've seen other people do it with their kids I've seen other people do it while they're in the hospital I've seen it <laughs> so if you want you can get up and dance if you're able to get up just dance have fun in your room move around do things I mean look how big Jace's room is it's necessarily not that small so I would get up and move dance shake shake it a little bit give give yourself a little bit of fun you know what i mean like be energetic in a place where your energy is almost gone because that gives you more energy at the end of the day jace loves when i put on music and he gets up and shakes his little butt and he dances and he does his little moves <laughs> i don't know what that means but he does it and he loves it and it makes such a big difference for him for kids and even for yourself. I encourage this even for yourself. Bring times tables cards, bring addition cards, bring letters, words. Say you're in uh, college, bring your you know, schoolwork and do as much of it as you can. I know it's not a time where you wanna do it and you can even get away with saying I was in the hospital, but bring it, do it. Keep your mind open and fresh and excited and new keep learning keep doing things that inspire you and teach you and grow you as a better human it's just it's better and worksheets to sharpen your mind you want to make your mind as sharp as you possibly can um you don't want to let yourself get down during this time i also encourage bringing something that gives you like i said happiness before I mentioned this bring something that really gives you happiness and what I mean by that is something that you look at and you feel at peace it's really important to feel at peace with yourself when you're in here because it's so hard to get lost in the depression and the anxiety don't do that to yourself just try to be as happy as you can you know but I really appreciate you guys watching these videos and keeping up with me and Jace. 
it gives us a lot of encouragement and hope and we really love every single one of you guys for watching again i'll be back with more videos see you guys next time